Hey guys, Hacktoberfest is right around the corner. And if you're unfamiliar with Hacktoberfest, be sure to visit hacktoberfest.com and you'll be here at the official page. So what Hacktoberfest is, is it's a community or it's a group of people who are getting together and contributing to these open source projects. And if you submit for pull requests to these open source projects, you will win a Hacktoberfest shirt from DigitalOcean. And DigitalOcean is the one who is hosting this event. So you can come here, you can watch the video and learn all about it. But I actually wanted to create this video because I wanted to show you that we are actually going to join in on the party and you can get some swag from DigitalOcean for submitting a few pull requests. And you can also get a DevDojo Pro account if you submit those pull requests to a few of our projects. So I will provide links below the video, uh, but you can check out these projects right here. And the one that I want to show you is this project called Tails. And Tails is a no config copy and paste library of templates and components built using Tailwind CSS. So let me go ahead and just show you some of the components. So these are the components that you could simply come here and you could click on code and then you could just copy the code and you could just paste it into your project. So we have all of these components that you can use and then we also have some templates. And then there's also the playground and the playground is where you can actually add code in here and it will show up in the preview mode. So I do have a component that I'm currently working on and I'm going to show you the process of how you can submit a pull request after you create a component. So let's say that you go here and you design your component and it, well, let me show you one more thing actually. If we go back to these components right here and we see all the current components, you can actually click here to edit this component. And you can see that we have all of the content right here. So you can edit a current one, make some modifications and kind of play around with it and create a new one if you want. So let me show you how you can submit a pull request. So I have an incognito window right over here and I'm logged in as just a, this is kind of like a demo account that I use. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this repo. And the first thing that you'll want to do is you will want to fork the repo. So I'm going to click the fork button. and it is going to fork this repo under my user. So now what I need to do is I need to clone this onto my local machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the code button right here, and you can also download it if you wanted, but we're going to just copy the link right here, and then I'm going to open up terminal. And I think I'll just put this on my desktop. So I'll say desktop, and I'm going to say git clone, and clone this onto my machine. So let me CD into that folder and I'm going to open this up in VS Code. Okay, so over here on the left, we have components and templates. I'm gonna bump this up a little bit. So we have the components and these are all the components that you actually see on the DevDojo website. So if we go back to the components, you can see we have the CTA gradient, the FAQ list, and we go back and we have the CTA gradient FAQ list, feature blocks, and we have all the components right here. We then have the templates, and right now there's only one template in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my new component that I just created, and I'm going to create a new file inside of this folder. So if I come back over here, and this is the component that I want to create. So I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to create a new file. And I'm actually going to name this hero-learn. And the reason why I'm naming this hero-learn, you want to give it first the name of what it is. So this is a hero section. If it was a CTA section or a feature section, you would add feature dash. And I'm going to call it hero-learn because if you look at the H1, it has learn together. So I'm just gonna call it hero-learn. So I'm going to paste that in there and I'm going to clean up some of the spacing. And I also did install a plugin which will clean up my Tailwind CSS classes. And I'll provide a link to that extension below the video as well. So what I can do is I can do Command Shift T and that'll actually reorganize all of the classes. Okay, so I'm going to save that. So I just added this new hero learn HTML and I'm going to do git status and it's going to show that I have a new file that I've added. So I'm gonna say git add all, if I could spell. Then I'm going to say git commit adding new hero component. 
And I'm going to push. Let me try that again. Git push origin master. Okay, and now if I go back to my repo right here and I reload, I'm going to see that new component inside of my components folder for my specific repo. So you'll see that we have hero-learn.html. So now that we've pushed that to our forked repo, we now need to add a pull request for the origin repo. So I can go back here to the origin repo and I can say that I want to create a new pull request. So I'll say new pull request and I'll want to say compare across forks. So I'll want to click on this button right here and then I can search for my specific repo. So that was homer3 slash tails. I'll select that and you'll see that we have this new file right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on create pull request. And we'll leave a nice message. Hey there, I'm adding a new component called hero learn. And I'll click on create pull request. And after that, we're done. So what's gonna happen after that is I'm actually going to get that notification that there is a new pull request for this repo. So if I were to go to the repo and to click on pull request, I will see your pull request right here. And I will click on that. And after I do a few checks, then I'm going to merge the pull request. And after that, we're done. So we can actually go back to the components page. So if we go back to the components page and we scroll down, we're going to see the hero section. And we see that we have hero clean, hero culture, click on load more. And look at there, there we have our new component added to the site. Your pull request has been merged in. You will get credit for the Hacktoberfest event and you also get credit for one pull request towards the Dev Dojo Pro account. So if you have any questions, uh, be sure to ask me in the comment section below and uh, happy Hacktoberfest. Uh, I hope to hear from you guys soon.